this week we're talking about mental techniques to get you through your long run, so let's get stuck in. Right guys, so I'm down here on the River Lee. I'm waiting for Eddie and Freddie to come past. Uh, this is where we usually do our long runs. Uh, it is very windy down here and it's just stopped raining, which is the right touch. So those guys are gonna be soaked when they do come through. Um, but yeah, so disaster struck this week. Well, actually, you know what? It's been kind of building. Um, if you didn't see last week's video, last week I kind of tweaked my hamstring. Um, I rested, I then saw the osteo on Monday uh, who did some dry needling and other bits and bobs. Um, and then Wednesday, I let it settle down till Wednesday. Uh, and then I went out and did a gentle run with Eddie and it felt okay, but I could still feel it. I was meant to do 18 miles today, uh, but I went and did 5K yesterday just to see how it was. And it was, it was so painful. I was getting like shooting pains up my hamstring. It was killing me. Um, and yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm in a bit of a mess. I don't know really what to do because it's like, Six weeks to go to Manchester. I've got a time in mind, as you uh, guys know, I'm looking for sub four. I've not done any speed work uh, the last two weeks. Uh, we've had all these storms and everything else has messed everything up. So I, I don't know, I'm in a bit of a, I'm in a, bit of a downer at the moment. Um, it's a bit annoying. Uh, whether I can then firstly make the start line in Manchester, I don't know. We'll have to see how uh, a week off or two weeks off is gonna it's gonna make me feel i've got the big half next week supposedly so i'm gonna rest up all week i'm gonna take five days off i've got the osteo on monday um i'm just hoping it's nothing major so sometimes with a hamstring you can get like micro tears in it um they can clear up relatively fast uh, i'm icing it obviously i'm uh, so uh, just anybody else out there who's struggling so I, I'm doing ice three times a day on it uh, basically sitting on a pack of ice um, I'm also doing now if you follow me on Instagram uh, last night I got into the bath and I was soaking it with Epsom salt I'm not stretching it um, been advised not to stretch it uh, just to try and let it settle down so I'm gonna take a week let it settle down see what happens it, it feels a bit better today the shooting pains have gone but still, it, it, it's, I've got to be honest with you, I'm worried, really worried. Um, main, mainly because I'm chasing the time. If I wasn't chasing the time, I wouldn't really give a two hoops, to be honest with you. But I just, it, it's, a, it, it's frustrating because I really wanted to uh, have a crack at Manchester injury free. Last year, if you saw London, I had an injury, I had sciatica, so I didn't have a fresh go at that. Uh, with Chelmsford, I had a cold literally the week before. So I just want to go and attack one and have a free run at one because I want to see what I can do. Um, but yeah, so there, that's where I'm at. It's a, it, it's a real frustration. Um, so tune in next week, see how we get on. Um, and I'll keep you updated uh, and let you know how we get on. So I want to give you some mental techniques on um, sort of long runs this week. I filmed this a couple of weeks ago, actually. I did this video. Um, it's sort of been sitting there waiting. But somebody commented on Facebook this week about um, like they're struggling with like the long runs and stuff like that. So I thought it was a good week, especially as I'm not out running, um, to give you some sort of uh, tips and hints with regards to um, mental techniques and, and that sort of stuff um, with regards to doing your long runs. Well, guys, so the first tip is to break the run down into sections. Now, what do I mean by that? Think about your run. Let's say it's uh, what 30k. So focus on the first 5k. Get that done. Warm up. Get it done. Then move on to the next 5k so get to your 10k think about fueling stuff like that just keep breaking the run down into like manageable chunks by doing that you'll make it so much easier and not focusing on the sort of big number whatever you've got to do so top tip is basically break the run down into sections next tip is to remember it's not always easy this run this long run of yours is not going to be easy if you know that before you go out you're going to be under no illusions it might sound really stupid but just think to yourself, it's gonna get hard, it's gonna get difficult, but if you're prepared for it, then you'll smash it. Right, next up, mantra. Now, a sports psychologist told me about this. Um, somebody who did the, uh, was one of the presenters at the Meet the Experts, said to me, get yourself a mantra. So what does that mean, get yourself a mantra? Well, it means like a saying or, or some words that you can put into your head, that you can put, you know, and use while you're in your sort of darkest, deepest, horriblest moment. It's that sort of pick me up 
whether you say, I've got this, I'm awesome, I'm doing this for mum, something like that that you can say to yourself that will just sort of get you going through that sort of darkest period. Next tip is imagery. It might sound a funny word, imagery, and what I mean by that is to think of things that you can focus on. Now, the way I look at it is if I know I'm doing a long run route, and I know, I'll give you an example, Morrison's <laughs> is at about 25 kilometers. I know I've just got to get to Morrison's. So I'm focusing, when I go back to breaking down the run, I am focusing on the second half of the race, or heck, second half of the long run, sorry, I just getting to Morrison's. I've got that picture in my mind. And the reason I use Morrison's is because you can see it from miles away. It's like a really big tall building. I don't know why it's so big. But I use that. So use imagery to try and, again, focus the mind, take it away from what you're doing, and it will work wonders. Another great idea that I actually use is counting down um, from sort of 10K left down to what I've got ever left. That's another way, whether it be miles, 10K, uh, uh, kilometers, sorry, whatever you want to do, kind of use counting during your run to sort of take your mind off it and also give you that sort of sense that you're getting close to the end. It really does work well. So I shout out loud, and you can ask anybody who's done a long run with me, when I'm getting down to those sort of low numbers, and I usually start from 10K left, so I'll go 10, and then when I get to nine, obviously I'll do nine. And I just count down, I count loud, and I make sure I smile when I say it. It really helps me, and it's a, it's a kind of cheat technique, actually. Another good one that I use to take my mind off of it is to think about what I'm going to be doing afterwards. Sometimes I think about what I'm going to be eating. Sometimes it can be arranging in my head what I'm doing the rest of the day. I know it's a silly, like editing or, you know, doing some form of uh, work or anything. Anything that you can think about while you're out there that's going to take your mind off of it. Post-run sort of activities, what you're going to do after the run is always a good one to take your mind off what actually you're doing at the time. Right, so visualizing your race, that's another thing to do. And again, it's all that sort of distraction technique, stuff that you can do while you're out there. Um, a good example is, right, I'm in the middle of the race, it's halfway, let's say you're halfway through your long run. Think about fueling, where would you be, race time, think about your feelings, what, how you're feeling in general, all that kind of stuff. And just as I say, visualize the race if you can. And again, it'll just take your mind off actually what you're doing. And my last tip is give yourself a good talking to. You might think that you're mad, but going along and actually talking to yourself at points during the run will do you wonders. So whether it be, right, I've got this, like we saw about a mantra, and you, but you say it out loud, or you start talking to yourself about, I don't know, what you're gonna be doing in the next 5K, something like that. Again, talking out loud and doing stuff that's taking your mind off of what actually you're doing. So you're not actually going along talking to yourself like some nutcase, but, you know, if, it, if you're digging deep and you're struggling, you, you know, say it out loud, right, I've got this, I'm gonna do this, come on, we've got to get to 5K, say it out loud, who cares? You're never gonna see the people again, so what difference does it make? It's another thing to do, another distracting uh, sort of technique, give yourself a bit of a talking to. So there you go, guys, I hope they were useful for you. Um, wish me luck this week. Let me know in the comments uh, if you're struggling, um, if you're feeling it. I say, I need a bit of sympathy, so let me know, show me some love in the comments. <laughs> But yeah, disaster. Well, potentially disaster. Let's see. Hopefully a week's rest does it. I think I've got the fitness level, uh, base level to sort of pick it up uh, after a week or two. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, but yeah, nervous times, guys. Nervous times. I'll catch you next week.